Have you ever made a mistake? I haven't, but I can imagine what it's like for those of you that have. Now, what if I told you that those same mistakes that we get criticized for, that we've been shamed for, and that we often beat ourselves up for, those same mistakes might be the actual path to creating a life that's a masterpiece, and not just a masterpiece of shit. So the word masterpiece means a work of outstanding artistry, skill, or workmanship. Now, if you are building a life or if you're actually an artist and you're creating art, whether it's a painting or music or whatever it may be, all of us in one way or another are trying to create something, hopefully that's a masterpiece, something that is world-class. Now, what I teach my kids all the time and what it took me a long time to learn is the way you get there is practice, practice, practice. So right now, if you were to meet my boys and you ask them, hey, how do you get good at karate? They would say, practice, practice, practice. How do you get good at drawing? Practice, practice, practice. How do you get good at music? Practice, practice, practice. Now, the thing with that is, is that during that practice, you are going to make a ton of mistakes, especially if you're new at it. And they actually say that if you're ever watching somebody practice like figure skating and you see two figure skaters and one of them keeps falling down and one of them isn't falling down, the one that is not falling down isn't learning anything new. The one that is falling down is continuing his learning experience and he is trying new things to better his game. Now, what I'm going to share with you today is about five just quick points about things that I've learned in my life as far as what it takes to create something that's a masterpiece, whatever that may be. For me, it's both a life and my art. I would love to, and my goal is to create a life that is a masterpiece, a life that I love, a life that I don't have to run away from on vacation and then come back to something that I hate to just try to work through the next vacation. And I also wanna do the same thing with my music. And actually, I just released a song called Masterpiece, my newest single, and it is about this exact topic, but I figured I would kind of break it down in more detail in this video. So number one, wisdom comes from mistakes, errors, and missing the mark. What most religions call sin. All sin is, by definition, is missing the mark. You aimed at something, you shot at it, you didn't quite hit it, you need to adjust, bro, aim, shoot again. Life is a beautiful opportunity to grow and gain wisdom through experience. Now, I don't know if what your childhood was like, but I was never encouraged to make mistakes. Mistakes were not something that was okay. You know, if you make a mistake, it's a problem. You usually get punished for mistakes. Unfortunately, that is the only way that we can learn. Now, since you're watching my channel, I'm going to assume that you're at least spiritual if you're not religious. And for the last several years, I've been going through my deconstruction of religion, my cleansing of religion, and hopefully I'll make some videos about that one day. But there has been many things that I've found that are incredibly detrimental to our growth that we are taught from religion. Mistakes are definitely not celebrated. Mistakes are considered sin and you shouldn't do them and you can't commit them and and you know you're you're very much shamed for those mistakes. But ironically, that's how you learn. You can't become a king unless you're first a fool. Being a fool is the prerequisite to become a king, and the way we get there is through mistakes. Um, number two, you need healthy self-esteem to learn from error and keep moving forward. This is another thing that I could go on a rant about, about religion, because for the most part, from my experience, what happens in most religious settings is first, you are told that you are worthless, 
You're told what a sinner you are. You're told how wretched and horrible you are, which just strips people of self-esteem. You're told you're a victim, right? Something happened thousands of years ago that now has harmed you. There's no way to get out of it. You, you, there's nothing you can do to fix it. You have to go to an external source to fix it. Now, I understand that a lot of people are well-meaning in, in sharing these stories. Inadvertently, it destroys people's self-esteem. It destroys people, people's ability to be able to trust themselves, people's ability to have the courage to go and do things that they're not quite sure yet if they're capable of doing. So to understand that mistakes are actually awesome and that you need them to learn, we have to have a healthy self-esteem or when we make those mistakes, it could keep us from continuing to attempt to achieve our goals. Number three, stop beating yourself up, punishing yourself and explaining yourself to others. We all do the best we can with what we know at that time, at that moment. For years, I beat myself up. You know, when I kind of came out of a, a fairly um, intense lifestyle, I had a lot of shame and, and I beat myself up for it. When I would look back at my life and, and the things that I did and the mistakes I made, I really tried to punish myself for those things. And that's really a naive way to look at it. It's very short-sighted. We need to own those things, which I believe is the next point. Yeah, it's my next point. We need to own and treasure our mistakes. There's tons of information in those mistakes. And it's through that information that we evolve. So not only should we not shame ourselves, we should own those mistakes so no one else can shame us. They're ours, right? This is our life. Those were our choices. These are our lessons, right? These, this is our path to evolving and becoming wiser, smarter, stronger, um, upgrading to the next version of ourselves, right? Life is a continuous learning process. Don't try to be perfect just be real and genuine with who you are at the moment. This was another mistake that I made. For years, I just wanted to be perfect. And one, it keeps you from being genuine. It keeps you from being real with people because we'll put up this front as if the, we're not making mistakes. You know, I'm all, everything is all good. And it really keeps us from growing. We kind of get stuck at that level then. If we can't admit our mistakes and if we can't own our mistakes and treasure them for the information they give us, we end up kind of getting stuck at the same level that we're at. So I think it's an incredibly powerful tool to remember that this is all a learning process. We're here to learn. And some people might expect us to learn from books, which is good. If, if you can learn from books, I also love to read, that's great. That's an uh, extra bonus on top of the lessons we're getting in real life. But there is no book that could replace the experience of actually living life and making mistakes and going through trials and tribulations and going through maybe some harsh times so we can see what our actions do in this world and how that works. Because it's a fact, I think anybody that's lived any length of time knows that whatever we do comes back to us. And we get to learn that. You don't gotta believe me. If you don't know that yet, you ain't gotta believe me. You ain't gotta take my word for it. If you live long enough, you're gonna see that that's true. So to paint a masterpiece, we have to splash some paint around. We have to make mistakes. We have to live our life and let this beautiful life give us the lessons we need so we can get to the next level of life that we are being called to get to. What? Where is it calling us? What is calling us forward? Go with it. Now, at the same time, let me make a caveat here. 
I'm not telling anybody to go out and do something stupid. I'm not telling you to go purposely make a mistake. If we want to do something that we already know is wrong, for example, if you're married and you want to cheat and you're like, oh man, Mars told me I should make mistakes. That's how I'm going to get wisdom. I'm going to go cheat. That's not what I'm saying and you missed the point. When we know that the thing we're about to do is wrong, that's not so much a lesson anymore, although it will be a lesson if you do it. That's just, I would put that on the side of foolishness. If you already know the thing you're about to do is wrong and you shouldn't do it and everything inside of you is, is, is telling you, hey, don't do this, well, then don't do it, right? That's just being a fool. If you don't know yet and you make a mistake, well, that's how you gain wisdom, all right? So I love y'all. I'll see y'all next week. Oh, don't forget to leave a comment, press like, subscribe all those things actually help these videos a lot it helps it get in the algorithm and do whatever it's got to do to get it out to more people so if you found this refreshing or if you found this encouraging press like leave a comment get it up in the algorithm so other people can see it too all right i'll see y'all next week